Oh, it's a funky farmer surfer dude look here. I have got my shades on. Look at these. 2 dollars special from Aldi. Woo! I need to get something. It was so bright. I was working the other day. That's a bit of light on you. You can see me better. <coughs> oh, I can't wait for this to come off. It's getting too hot now. Imagine this is summer. It's ridiculous. I don't know why anyone would want to grow up here, to be honest. Well, I can understand I need it trimmed here, but I can't understand why anyone would want to let it go bushy, because it all gets bits in it. Also, it's a bit scorchy hot. Right, I'm down here. Oh, that's better. I'm down here to pick up the round bales. So we're going to go and have a look. I think there's only one, two, three, four, five. Five bales to pick up, which isn't many for this common. But I didn't expect a lot, but it's all good because it's all bedding. <coughs> and it'll all get used. So let's have a quick look. Here we go. So, you might remember it was pretty rubbishy stuff I was bailing up, and I was just glad to get anything off this, really. We got five bales. The contractor did bale some other stuff at the same time. I wasn't going to drag him over here for five bales. Um, look here, you can see it in there. Stalky, but bits of hay in amongst it. The cattle will pick through that. It's net wrap, look. What's that on there? Some sort of poo. Dry poo, looks like the guts or something. Something's eaten something on there. Look, look at that. What is that? It looks like some birds eating something else on there. Probably a buzzard or something. There's bits of it there, look. Hmm. Okay, so we've got one bale over there, one on here, three over there. So I'm going to pick them up now. Let's crack on. Let's go. Crack on. Oh, got my legs out, got my legs out, oh look, whoop, whoop, whoop. Funky Farmer has legs out, that is a bad view, especially when I'm well, when I'm well is, look, can you believe that? Look, my legs don't, ooh, is that still recording? I don't know, might I press the button then, my legs, my legs don't come out very often, they're not a good sight, let's crack on. He said without putting it into neutral. Alright, so we are going to get these two first, I think. about getting these off here is that get them before oh, there's a little baby one there so it's four and a half really look that's a little diddy one right my main concern about getting these is that someone might nick them uh right by the road on a common i don't really want to leave them here very long so they only bailed them last night about 10 o'clock so i'll come down straight away to get them has decided to go swimming in a swimming pool instead. We've got a little inflatable pool we've got on the lawn and obviously that is a lot more attractive than coming down here loading bales with me. Who can blame him really? Right. I'm going to leave that little one so I think I'm going to put that little one on uh, on a loader and take that one on the loader. I'll put four on the trailer and then I'm going to take the other one up on the loader, I think.
there we go right so four on the trailer I think one on the spike at the front I've got these shades off because they're not as comfortable as I'd hoped they'd be I think they're a bit too big what do I know about shades I think they're cycling ones anyway hey surfer dude yeah surfer dude can I get can I be classed as a hipster now I got this thing or while I've got this thing hipster farmer is there such a thing as a hipster farmer Hipster farmer. Does he get lots of shh in your beard? That's cow muck to you. Right. One bale on my loader. I think I spent too long with Harry. Do you know what I mean? If you spend any time. Honestly, I should just record mine and Harry's chats. Honestly, the stuff he comes out with. I'm not being funny. He's a very different personality than Jack. Jack's a bit more serious. You see, uh, Harry, his brain just goes off in lateral thinking and way beyond the nine-year-old's thinking. I don't know where he's coming from, but he is a funny man. He is a funny man. He's quite interesting because he stresses a bit over doing things like maths and stuff. I've been doing a little bit with him. <coughs> and he isn't necessarily brilliant at maths. He tries, but he, he's not getting a lot of it. But I do think, oh, I do think, and uh, I think this is true, this is not all about being academic, because I think Harry has got a little bit of sparkle about him. He's got a little bit of pajazz. Um, and I hope that one day Harry can use that somewhere, and never mind the fact that maybe he can't do his maths brilliantly. Uh, and I'm sure any of you who've got children have probably seen that in the... Whoop, some of them might not have been that academic. Sorry, I'm multitasking now. Look, I'm just pushing the bales. I'm just pushing them on to be a bit more central. There we go. Right, let's get this back on. Um, yeah, it's not all about being academic. And I think if it's a message out there for any of you who do, if you're watching this and you're struggling at school, it, school's important. Don't get me wrong. Don't go. Don't not go. Make sure you do your bit. Oh, I pushed that one off too far now. But it's not all about being the most academic person in the world because I know people who've done really poorly at school and they're millionaires now. So don't get stressed out about being the best one in the maths class. And that, that was just a rambling on there. Uh, and if you know Harry, you'll know. I think, I'd love to know where he's going to be in 20 years time. I hope I'll find out in 20 years time if I'm still around. Anyway. Just gonna load up and go now.